Have you ever wondered what that weird gummy thing is that you get in drawing sets? Well, it's called a kneadable eraser, and today I'm going to show you how I, as a professional artist, use it on my drawings. So let's get straight to it. So I want to start by saying that it's actually a pretty rubbish eraser. Because of its soft texture, you can't actually apply a lot of pressure to it. And lots of people have said, oh, it's great, I can mould it into a fine point to go into the small details. But if you've ever actually tried that, you know it doesn't work, and you're much better off just using a rubber pencil or an electric eraser. So now you're probably thinking, well, if it doesn't rub out very well, then why am I even using it? And that is a very good question. You see, because of its poor rubbing out ability, we can actually use them on our entire sketches before we colour them in. Let me explain. Colouring in a sketch like this one would be a very bad idea for three reasons. Number one, the messy sketchy lines make it really confusing to work on. Number two, the lines are quite dark so they'll show through in the final result which we do not want. And finally, number three, because there's loads of loose graphite on the page, you'll end up smearing it everywhere whilst you colour it in or work on it. This is where the kneadable eraser comes in. If you go over your entire sketch with a dabbing motion, you A, remove a lot of the excess graphite so you no longer have to worry about it smearing everywhere or the dark lines showing through in the final result. And B, you get rid of a lot of those sketchy lines so the sketch is a lot cleaner and easier to work on. It's just really important that you do occasionally need the eraser to clean it because graphite will build up on the surface and if you don't, you'll end up smearing this graphite everywhere. And if, like me, you use alcohol markers in your drawing process, then using the kneadable eraser is particularly important. As once you go over pencil with the marker ink, you seal it and can no longer rub it out. So the dark lines will show through in the final result, which is very annoying. So yeah, this was a very short video on how how and why I use a kneadable eraser and if you found anything in this video useful please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you soon with more drawing videos.